Welcome back to the show. With us still is head coach for the women's indoor track and field team, Carrie Cluckone. Coach, so we're talking about the conference meet and talking with some of the girls after the Cardinal Classic. It's not those first place that's going to really matter. It's the thirds, the fourths, the fifth, the sixth, those other points that the teams can get at the conference meet that really may decide the difference. Yeah, we, we will take any point we can earn and we can earn a lot of points. Um, we're not afraid of nickel and dime. We'll take the, any spot we can get, but um, we want the big points as well. And we've got some events that we, we should be able to get some big points. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said earlier, we really have to look at the depth of the program and we want to be able to put ourselves in position across the board in case someone doesn't have a good race or a good, you know, good jump or whatever that someone else can step up. But um, you know, again, the women are very selfless. They really look at the team and the team concept and will dig down for everything they can get. One of those events you guys have shown depth in that in both programs, men's and women's, is the pole vault. You guys have a, a great vaulter in Liz Composta, but also very good vaulters in Brooke Patterson, Jane Bartholomew. That mm -hmm. event hopefully will be a, a nice security blanket for the Cardinals in the conference meet. Yeah, it's a great way to start off the conference meet. It's a, we have a very strong team dynamic in that area. Their training is excellent all year long. They've got a lot of confidence going in. They, just, you know, they have a presence as a group and, and their discipline and their training and how they, how they approach the event itself. Um, all four, I think, have a strong chance at scoring. And one ch event where hopefully you guys will get some points as well as in the shot put. Mm -hmm. Ebony Stallworth having a great season. Yeah. She's broken the school record for the indoor shot put. And as only a sophomore, she's, she seems to only be getting better. Yeah, she's even got, she's got a lot of potential. I mean, where she'll be in two years, I can only imagine. Um, our throws coach has done an excellent job with all the throwers. We have a new throws coach this year, um, Sean Denard, and he's really in, improved them drastically in mm -hmm. every event. Um, so I'm really excited to see what they can put together this weekend. And it seems like she stays hungry. She got first in the Cardinal Classic, but yeah. she didn't even seem pleased with her first place throw. So she, she's always striving to get better. Yeah, she uh, wasn't her very best throw. Right. It was still good, though. Yeah, I, I like that about her, though. You want to always have more, you know. And she, you know, nationally has some goals, and she just has to keep working at that to be able to get that, um, to get this, the the mark that she has to get to get in the meet. And Brooke Patterson, uh, also a pole vaulter, but she also competes in the jumps. Where you guys, you guys have some depth in those jumps in the long and triple with her, Bashiba Mays, Jocelyn Redlinski. Those are some girls that can really hopefully add to the total at conference. Yeah, um, we have our jumpers are a mix of sprinters and jumpers and pole vaulters. And a, a <laughs> Whoever big can go yep. the furthest. Yeah, I mean, when you have some speed and power like Kayla, who you're going to have on a little yeah. bit, you know they can jump. And um, we've actually tried a couple of our sprinters this year in the long jump as well with Kayla because we tried Kayla before and it worked mm -hmm. well. So we decided to try it again. Um, so the, the long jump is on a Friday as well. So it'll be a nice, uh, the pole vault long jump hopefully will be two big events for us to start off the meet. And then uh, we close with that triple jump and we've got some, some nice dynamics in there as well. Um, so hopefully when we get to the end of the meet, uh, all those points will help us. Yeah, you mentioned Kayla Murphy, one of the senior leaders on this team. She's generally a, a sprinter, but she's really, she's a jack of all trades. She's done it all. She's done the pole vault, the javelin, the long jump. I mean, you yeah. name it, she's done it in her career. She really seems to step up for this team wherever the Cardinals need her. Yeah, I'm, I'm regretting that she doesn't have an outdoor left, but I'm so <laughs> glad that we have her for this indoor. So, um, you know, she's been awesome, and her dynamic this year with the girls have been awesome, her work ethic, and we always use her as an example of how to prepare. And um, I think the, the young sprinters have learned a lot from having her there. And, um, you know, she, she has long jump for us. She's tried, like I said, outdoor javelin. She does a 60, the 200, you know, she'll do what you ask. So she's done a great job. What's it like having one of those seniors? Because uh, you guys do have a young team, seeing the work that, they, that she puts in to help them get better. Well, then they realize what it takes. And that's what I told the, the women this week. I said, you know, you have to look at one of the upperclassmen and what they've done to get where they are. And then you have to look at the national meet. Our women, you know, that don't make the national meet, you got to go watch to see what it takes. Some, a lot of people think they know what it takes, but until they observe someone mm -hmm. like, like Kayla or Liz or a national level athlete from other teams, they don't really, it takes a lot to be at that point. Another sprinter that has, has a shot and hopefully making that, that national meet is Mandy Cogliani. She's, she's done a nice job for yeah. you guys in the mid distance. And even though 400 seems to be her more natural event. She's yeah. run the 200 a couple times this year. Yeah, she's last year she scored as a freshman in the four and the two, and um, has really started off the 400 really well. Um, our four by four has run great with her on the lead leg. Um, we had three freshmen and she that ran sub four minutes. So they've done a great job. She's a great leader in that area too, and I, I'm excited to see what happens in the next couple weeks. Well, so are we, coach. It's going to be an exciting weekend up at Carthage. Best of luck at conference. Thank you. Don't change that channel because after the break, we welcome in two Cardinals that are hoping to help put the team on top of the podium at conference. We'll be right back.
Ready? Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Oh, come on, Randy. Animal shelter, here I come. And no, I'm not crazy or emotionally damaged. That's a stereotype. I just belong to a total loser. I'm a good dog. So if you want a pet, adopt. And if you see Randy, tell him he dropped his wallet. Welcome back. With us now are senior Kayla Murphy and sophomore Liz Composto. Ladies, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having, having us. So Kayla, we'll start with you. A great showing by the Cardinals in the Cardinal Classic. What really did seem the focus of that meet was to gear you guys up for a conference. Mm -hmm. yes. What do you guys think you did well in that meet to prepare yourselves to take on the rest of the CCIW? I think definitely stacking us in several events really helps to get the real feel for what conference is going to be like, especially for people that do more than three events. Mm -hmm. So you, especially the freshmen too, so they can kind of get a feel of this is what it's going to be like, this is how tired I'm going to be, and this is what I got to do to kind of plan out my warm up, plan out the whole day, and psychologically prepare themselves for what they have to go through, so. And what was it like in some of those events? I know in the 60 meters, you guys had two Cardinals representing, in the, in the hurdles, you had four Cardinals. What's it like with your teammates running side by side with you to try and, you know, <laughs> feed off them and try and push them harder? It's, I like doing it because it's like, it's a lot like practice and it's just a lot more comfortable, but it's also sometimes it can be like, well, I, I want some more competition, I need some more competition, <laughs> and then we just stack the 60 and there's all of us and it's like two other people from other schools and you're like dominating. So it's, it's fun because our team dominates in mm -hmm. one event and, but it's, it's still, it's a lot more comfortable to run with your teammates, yeah, I think. Definitely helps you guys get the win too and, and Liz, you guys, on the pole vaulting side, definitely helped the Cardinals get the win too, but you, you have a little bit different of a meet than, than most people because your focus is mostly on the pole vault, so what's that like not knowing you have to you know, run over and run a 400, that your focus is just trying to clear that next height? Um, well, I mean, pole vault is a priority, so I put everything into it. Um, I, I don't know, it's just a matter of knowing what I have to do and accomplishing it meet by meet. And what was your focus of last week's meet because obviously <laughs> You know, conference is a goal, I'm sure, of yours, mm -hmm. but as you went to nationals last year, you, you know you have a shot at returning there, so mm -hmm. what has your focus been sort of in that build up to the meet in Naperville in, you know, 14 days? Um, definitely consistency. That's key, especially in the pole vault. So I've just been trying to get on the same poles, have the same run, um, get the same heights over and over again just to get comfortable with it and eventually have a break breakthrough at a nationals. Well, you definitely had a, a great meet on Saturday. The team won the Cardinal Classic, but their focus quickly shifted to the conference meet. We look at how the victory helped the team hit their stride in this week's What's the Word? We're going to need everybody to do their best next week at conference, so this has just been a fine-tuning kind of meet, and we just need to be as confident as we can coming out of this meet to put it into conference next weekend. Definitely taking the momentum from these past couple meets into conference is going to help so much. We're a really close team and all these little meets here and there are really helping us move toward conference. Definitely just work hard in all the events because we have good chances of placing in all events. Like We just got to be competitive in each race and just keep moving forward to get each point because every person is a point that will get us higher up on that medal. So. It's going to take a lot of teamwork. It's going to take a lot of people who may not believe that the eighth places are going to be the important ones so we can just take the points away and it's going to be a lot of teamwork and it's going to be hard work but we can do it. Kayla, you're one of the seniors on this squad. What has it been like sort of molding and helping these younger sophomores, freshmen along because this team's getting a lot of contributors from underclassmen. Uh, I really, it's been a lot of fun for me. I like to kind of rub off my, a little bit of myself on them because I know that if they not trying to be cocky or anything, more confident than anything else, but if they do what I do, I know that they can be really successful. And I just, I love to help them too, especially like in the weight room or in the out of the blocks, anything like that. I just really try to push them to be the best that they can be because I know that they can be awesome, so. Liz, you're one of those, those younger girls. I mean, you're getting older already. I mean, it's so hard <laughs> to believe you're already a sophomore, but yeah. how have you guys sort of embraced the fact that you guys aren't underclassmen, you, you are pretty much the core of this team right now. 
Um, how have we embraced that? Yeah, it's hard. I mean, you got a lot of pressure on you when they're expecting you to get those points at pole ball. Um, I mean, I've always liked to work hard, and I've always liked to be the best I can be. And um, after freshman year, it was kind of like, all right, you know, that excuse is over. It's time to like check into gear, and you know, there's no excuses and stuff like that. So I think it's, I think we've embraced it in that trying to be leaders on the team as the pole vault group. We try to really come together and show them like this is how a team works. This is how we work hard. To show the freshmen and stuff like that. And it's not only in your event, but we've seen it in other events. Ebony Stallworth in the yeah. shot put only a sophomore. Randy Coglinese in the sprints only a sophomore. Mm -hmm. How have they sort of helped their respective fields out and help girls get better? I mean, I look at both of those two girls as leaders, even though we're, we're only sophomores. Um, they definitely hold themselves high in their events. They know what to get done. They love being a part of a team, and I think that just shows the freshmen and everybody else that they mean business. <laughs> And how do you guys not get intimidated going into these conference meets with athletes that have had three or four years experience? Um, I guess you just you take each meet as it comes so you don't really think of um, conferences any different and um, you know you you know what you've done in the past year we've had we have had experience so we're no we're not we're not absolutely new so we mm -hmm. just do what we know we can. You guys definitely have the experience and Kayla you've had the experience too. Your last conference meet yes. coming up. Is it a little bittersweet? <laughs> it's very bittersweet. It's, I'm kind of I'm bummed that I also don't have another outdoor season. I kind of wish I would have maybe stayed back and done another red shirt for outdoor so that I could come out again because I really am going to miss running that 4 by one And we have some killer freshmen that are going to be so fast for outdoor, and that 4 by one is going to be unstoppable. And you had a lot of fun with that 4 by one You guys got yeah. a couple of victories last year and like you said these freshmen are ready to step in right away and really contribute. Yes. What is it going to do for you guys not only in indoors but at, in outdoors where there's there's different events you know you, you the distances get longer you add things mm -hmm. like the javelin what is this going to do for the Cardinal team heading into the outdoor season? Um, I think what we've got going on right now is like it's a great starter for what we're going to have when we go outside they're prepared. I think they're more prepared than I've ever seen any team, a young team, be prepared for it, for anything. And I'm sure your presence alone is going to help this team just get better. What does this team need to do next weekend in order to try and bring home their conference title? I think what we need to do is everybody just needs to keep a cool head like we have been this whole season. We've all really stepped up and been there for each other and worked really hard pushing each other in practice and in meets and when we're stacked up in different events and just keeping our team dynamic is really going to help us a lot and not showing any fear if we're in several events and just going out there and giving it everything we got. Well, hopefully that team dynamic leads to a dynamite finish. Ladies, best of luck at conference. Thank you. Coming up next, we'll check in with North Central College Sports Information Director Clark Tushier and see what's going on with other Cardinal sports in action. Don't go away.